illness has the highest rate of increase in the world and our numbers... Health workers diagnosed with the virus represent 14% of all those cases. And unemployment claims are higher than they have ever been in our history. If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. I've been a Navy SEAL for 36 years. Every morning, my instructors, who at the time were all Vietnam veterans, would show up in my barracks room and the first thing they'd do was inspect my bed. The corners would be square, the covers would be pulled tight, the pillow centered just under the headboard, and the extra blanket folded neatly at the foot of the rack. It was a simple task, mundane at best, but every morning we were required to make our bed to perfection. That seemed a little ridiculous at the time, particularly in light of the fact that we were aspiring to be real warriors, tough, battle-hardened seals. But the wisdom of this simple act has been proven to me many times over. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. Our struggles in this world are similar, and the lessons to overcome those struggles and to move forward, changing ourselves and changing the world around us will apply equally to all. At times, it will test you to your very core. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At that darkest moment of the mission is a time when you need to be calm and your inner strength must be brought to bear. If you want to change the world, you must be your very best in the darkest moments. But changing the world can happen anywhere and anyone can do it. If I have learned anything in my time traveling the world, it is the power of hope, the power of one person. One person can change the world by giving people hope. Start each day with a task completed. Find someone to help you through life. Respect everyone. Know that life is not fair and that you will fail often. But if you step up when the times are the toughest, lift up the downtrodden and never ever give up. If you do these things, the next generation and the generations that follow will live in a world far better than the one we have today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. But the question is, what will the world look like after you change it?